Hey everyone, so today I'm going to teach you how to differentiate with respect to x, and I'm going to do that by going over question number one. So we need to differentiate with respect to x, y is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 7x plus 9. So I'm going to teach you how to differentiate by going over this example. We're going to go over each part of the function one piece at a time, so the x cubed, then the 3x squared, and then the minus 7x and plus 9. I'll do my best to explain everything, but if you have comments or questions, you can drop them down below, and I'll go into more detail there and try and answer all your questions. So we are differentiating y with respect to x, so we do dy over dx. And now we're going to work with each part of the function separately. So if you want to differentiate x cubed, all you have to do is bring the power to the front. So you multiply it by the power by bringing it to the front, and then you take one away from the original power. So bringing the three to the front, and then we take one off the power, giving us 3x squared, okay? Don't know if you want to pause the video and give that a go for the next term. So for the next term, we have 3x squared. So we want to do the same thing again. We bring the power down to the front. So it's going to be three originally. Then we times it by two because we're times in the front number by the original power. So it's going to be three times two at the front. And then we take one from the power. So we would have six X squared, but we're taking one from the power. So it's going to leave us with six X. Okay. Now, if you have any X with a constant in front of it, for example, we have minus seven X. What you can do is just remove the X. That's because we're effectively working with X to the power of one. So you can imagine you would have X to the power of one. We bring that power down. So it'd be minus seven times one. So okay, we've got minus seven X to the power of one. And we need to remove that power by one. So subtract one from the power. That will give us X to the power of zero. X to the power of zero is one. That leaves us with minus seven. But you don't need to explain all that or think about it too much. But that's how it works. And you can just remove the X. So that gives us minus seven. And as for the plus nine, constants will disappear. And I suppose that would be because we effectively have nine times x to the power of zero because it's nine times one. So when you multiply the front by zero, it will all disappear. Yeah, does that make sense? If not, let me know down below. So that's how you differentiate with respect to x. Again, comments or questions, drop them down below. I appreciate it, it was probably quite brief. Uh, if you want more visuals, let me know. Just let me know what you guys think, cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Uh, best of luck with all your maths.